All right, so hi again. So uh, I lead the computational imaging systems lab. So generally the goal of the lab is to build both instruments, hardwares, as well as combining with advanced computational algorithms. The goal is to push the limits of what we can see with this instrument. So on the top, what you can see are two, uh, uh, two uh, tools we have built, the instrument we built uh, that combines uh, different hardwares along with the algorithms we built to enable new imaging capabilities. And more recently with the advent of all these advanced algorithms, we also put a lot of effort to focusing on developing new tools, uh, new uh, machine learning tools to, to look into the data we typically look into biomedical imaging data. So I will give you two examples of, of in these two categories. So in the first one, uh, this is uh, a new project actually curated with the help of Neurophotonic Center, where the goal is to build this instrument we call computational miniature mesoscope. So the idea is that we would like to put a very tiny microscope onto the uh, head of the mouse right here. Um, the challenge is that we would like to look at a very large field of view. That means we would like to look, see a lot of cells, a lot of neurons, all synchronized doing some kind of activities. Well, at also provide very high resolution. So it turns out using traditional uh, optics, it cannot do that. So we actually can, need to innovate both the hardware as well as the algorithms. So I'm gonna just highlight the recent development in the algorithm side, in the AI side. So it turns out by building this kind of new instrument, uh, we can theoretically push the imaging limits if we have advanced algorithm, advanced machine learning algorithm. On the other hand, a very key challenge is we don't have this kind of instrument before and we cannot see this kind of data. So we, can, we actually do not have the data to train the neural network, even if we can build the model. So we have spent a lot of time to actually building physical simulators, leveraging our expertise in, the medical, uh, in, in physics uh, and uh, image formations. And it turns out by building this kind of physics simulators, we can train the neural network in silico, then apply to real experimental data and, uh, and, in, uh, and demonstrate real improvement in the imaging metrics. So second project uh, is in, again, in collaboration with faculties in Neuroprotonic Center with Jared Chen. Uh, so this is in the, uh, in the uh, algorithm side. So the idea is that we notice, so very much echo with what Jishin just mentioned, we noticed that for some of these neural data, in voltage emitting data in this case, the data are extremely noisy. So if you look at the raw data, you cannot see much. But if you think about how these data are coming through in space and time, the real signal actually contains some, uh, some statistics that contains correlations in both space and time, but the noise corrupt these, they're independent. So what we came up is the 